We have the big hitters going head to head in this video. We have the fried chicken done in a keto style versus the traditional southern fried chicken. Which one wins? Let's do this. Hey foodies, welcome to Hoobie Tastes. In this video, I'll share with you the way I like to do fried chicken at home. I'll do it in two ways. The mix that I like to do for fried chicken, I like to add bread crumbs to it. You could get something uh, from the market or you could make one yourself. And I added about three cups of flour because I made quite a lot of uh, chickens. Once I add my flour, I start adding my spices. I've experimented and I think this gives the best flavor for me at least. I use paprika, I use chili, and there is the seven spices spice <laughs> that you can get from the market. is absolutely fantastic addition to this. Uh, you could add oregano, salt, and again, here for flavor, you could add what you like. You could add lemon salt, you could add smoked salt, or just the sea salt. And garlic, uh, you would need probably about a tablespoon of garlic. But again, it's how much of garlic you like in your fried chicken. We get ourselves the three nice eggs, crack them, and to the eggs, I'll add a little bit of buttermilk. And rumor has it, this is, where, this is what KFC uses in their mixes. And now mix it all together. You see the nice golden color of the buttermilk and the eggs com coming together. And this tip, I learned it from Mr. Babish channel, Binging with Babish, one of my favorite channels. When you add a little bit of the sauce into the flour mix and do it in this way, what that will give you, it will give you the nice crunchy pieces around your fried chicken. I don't like to add cornflakes, whole cornflakes to get that effect because that doesn't taste like fried chicken really. So we get our nice cuts of chicken, add them to the sauce, submerge them, get them out and straight into the flour. Make sure every little tiny bit of that beautiful succulent chicken is covered with our flour mixture. Once we finish it all off, we leave it there for about 10 to 15 minutes so it's nice and rested before we get it to the fryer. What we need to do is to preheat our oil. Make sure this is deeper fried and covers your piece as well. We preheat it into 350 Fahrenheit or 175 ish Celsius. We add them in slowly and every minute or so we move them around so they are all nice and crisp it you would need about 10 to 12 minutes once they are nice crisp and brown you could move them out and if you are not sure you could use a thermometer and check that they are 165 fahrenheit so uh, you know the chicken is uh, properly cooked and now we are done with our traditional fried chicken look at it it looks absolutely beautiful. It summarizes beauty. But before we do the taste test, let's do the keto friendly chicken. We will need about one to two cups of almond flour. Depends on how many chickens you do in, in this style. I didn't do much because I didn't want to lose my friends. We will need a little bit of salt, garlic, chili the seven spice mix which i love i use it almost in most dishes a little bit of oregano and we use in the same uh, style of sauce we used earlier with our eggs and also our buttermilk and we do the same thing just keep in mind that the almond flour crumbles way quicker than the normal flour so having it to get to stick into the chicken is not as easy, but as you can see, it's absolutely doable. I didn't want to fry it, so we are doing it on the healthy side. I don't think the almond flour will do a great job being fried. So I used an air fryer 
or you could use an oven uh, to get the results that we are going for. Remember to move the pieces when coated with the almond flour very softly and gently so the coating crumbs doesn't fall out because it's very delicate and is not the same way you would get in a typical fried chicken. Now we are done with the keto chicken. It's ready. It's out. You could see them next to each other. I'll leave it up to you to decide which one looks better. Before we go and do our taste test, I would like to do my special sauce. Simply, I just eye it really. I add a little bit of mayo, a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of olive oil. If you like it garlicky, you, get, you can add a little bit of garlic and season it. And you are done. And this is the perfect company to your fried chicken. And now, as you can see, Mr. Foodie is going to test out the fried chicken. I started with the keto healthy one. And of course, we are doing the bite crunchy test. I think it's very tasty. It's, it's, it's very good. And if you want a diet friendly option, it does the job. Moving to the proper traditional one, the crunch. Mm. You can hear it. And the flavor is, well, if we are having them together, I would give it to the traditional one. It tastes absolutely much better. But have I had the other chicken on its own without comparing the two together? It's absolutely a good diet friendly option that you could do if you are following keto or you are counting your calories i hope you enjoyed the video if you like it please give it a thumbs up and i'm looking forward to see you in the next one check in out